WMUR News 9 starts now. Good evening, I'm Sharice LeClaire with this WMUR News 9 update. One person is dead after a crash between a car and a tractor trailer on Route 2 in Randolph. Police say the driver of the car was killed while the driver of the tractor trailer was not hurt. There's no word yet on a cause. Police in Manchester say this man is now facing four violation of privacy charges for trying to record women four separate times. Most recently, Travis Demers is accused of entering the women's restroom at the Hannafords on Hanover Street. He's also accused of taking photos of women in a bathroom at the mall and the dressing room of Savers earlier this year. A deployment ceremony in Concord today honored soldiers and their families. The New Hampshire Army National Guard's 238th Medevac Company is made up of aviators, crew members, and support personnel from the Granite State, as well as sister detachments from Ohio and Michigan. All three states trained together this summer. They train hard. Uh, they all have the right, you know, spirit. They all have the right motivation. And to be a part of that group is truly humbling and um, an honor for me. The group will head to Texas at the end of the month to continue training before shipping off to the Middle East. Now here's meteorologist Chris Jarzinka with the forecast. Well, I'll tell you what, Sharice, we certainly did get into fall very quickly this year. We have a freeze warning in areas of the southeast part of the state that did not see that hard freeze last night. Then we get a day of milder weather for tomorrow. Then rain comes in for Monday with some very heavy downpours, bringing us back to a seasonable kind of finish to the forecast. Overnight tonight, though, 20s north and 30 south, only right along the coast in the major cities, avoiding that hard frost and killing frost for Sunday though. Hey, we're going to be milder with a southwesterly breeze, a nice recovery with temperatures in the 60s. Some areas in southeast New Hampshire near 70 in the morning on Monday before falling off in the afternoon with heavy rain working in and then for the rest of the upcoming week, it looks pretty decent. A great fall day and we repeat it for Tuesday and Wednesday fighting off a storm to ourselves on Thursday and Friday before drier weather works in for the start of next weekend. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 30s and 40s. Sharice. Sounds good, Chris. Thanks so much. Join us for all the night's news at 10 on MeTV New Hampshire and after the game right here on WMUR. Have a great night.